I want to be, yeah, I want to do like, I want to be able to like actually like um, have CDs like done for people and like actually be able to like help them like uh, to, I don't know, like get, get them somewhere where like, you know, they can actually get some kind of recognition for all the music they make. Cause I mean, if nobody hears your music, then like, you know, it's good to have, but man, you can do a lot of really fun stuff just by putting time into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Connor Shania. I started recording with Knowles like, uh, I'd say what is like a couple years back, and uh, I don't know. We just sort of fooled around, and his studio wasn't like, it was never as good as it is today. Like he didn't have, well, he had like lots of the main equipment and stuff, but like he wasn't sure how to how to create the proper acoustics and stuff. He we we sort of made this thing where like it wasn't it was never about money and stuff, and like he decided to like record my tracks and he's like just like 20 bucks a song whatever like whatever helps me pay rent and stuff like he didn't really care about that but so far it's been going good i have lots of friends coming in started promoting shows uh just stuff on you know people come hang out I, i'll write articles on random artists in town just be like hey how's it going man this is a, you did a really good job like on eps people are always do like releasing eps and like you know self-titled stuff and like they just have no like no real like they're like oh look i did it and it's kind of like now what you know <laughs> so i don't know it's kind of nice to like actually be able to hear about it and then just be like wow cool um i've done some recording like, in toronto and uh the environment's like a little bit more like fake and like really uptight but like around here it's like more chill relaxing uh, you kind of get a feel and like to socialize and then when you're done socializing you get to record and then when you record it's like uh, you kind of just get to fully express yourself. There's a lot of stuff you can do with music and all that. I know one thing that I really want to do is like keep promoting like the underdogs like myself who just don't really have anywhere to go because it's just like it's such a good way to create good vibes. How did this concert come about? Um, uh, actually, it, it started well. Like it's something I always wanted to do because it's just uh, there's not there's not much going on for that in Thunder Bay. Like even when the, when I want to play shows, it's like really difficult to find. It's usually just open mics, right? And you go you go play there, and you're not really playing for a crowd. And if you do get a show, it's like you're playing for someone like that's that's coming through town and you're kind of opening up for them. But there's never a show that's just like focused on like local people. So I just started thinking, okay, well, fucking one thing, put on a show, that'd be sweet. And just like, it, and it's, yeah, in general, just a good way to promote local music. Like, it's going to be awesome. Your thoughts may not be a Your thoughts, our thoughts, my thoughts, our thoughts. You only know what you have been taught. So don't you can judge me. to Thunder Bay to drop off all my artwork and then we started selling like what we had uh, near Red River right near the Apollo and I was playing music over there and a bunch of locals were coming up to me saying well you should go to the Apollo you should go to the Apollo uh, and check out uh, to see if you could play a set there so I walked into the Apollo Knowles was running the show at the Apollo and um, I, I asked him if I could uh, play a set possibly, and he goes, yeah, sure. Uh, not in what you say, not in what you do, but it's the words that are coming now from you. I... Yeah, I just, went, I just went over to the Apollo and talked to Sheila and um, <clears throat> Alex, the sound guy, and like, they were just cool with it. T Tuesday, $5 cover, that was it. I just told them who was playing, what they need, what they were bringing, what they needed to play, and then that was seriously it. Like, it's good to go. It wasn't even hard. I'm gonna do this again for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you all enjoy that. This fight is great. That was awesome, and man, thanks everybody for coming out, man. So fun. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna put on more like this summer and stuff. Way too much fun. It's so awesome. Another way I could promote uh, people in Thunder Bay is, I guess, really just having them in the studio in general. They come over and then people. I guess there's some people that know about what I do up here. So when I have people in here, maybe they get interested. I mean, I probably would be if, people, if someone was always having people in their studio. I just want to freaking help, like, people like me, just, just the underdog, you know, people who just don't know what to do.